which uh, and also the very last shaft, which has a circlip. That's where the circlip goes, right, right on That's the very end. That's where the circlip goes. In 86, they determined, in their infinite wisdom, that on paper, it appeared as though there was sufficient interference fit between the shaft and the bearing, so the clip was no longer needed. However, since this is captive in the case, and this is a helical cut gear, which causes it to thrust rearward while you're in fifth, it pulls the bearing. And as it does, it starts developing all this play here. Okay. And when you have play, that's when you have problems. Right, because then what happens is fifth gear starts cocking like this. The mm -hmm. bearing is the only thing that holds it flush up against its shoulder. So it cocks like this, and it starts to, t number one, it, it hits the bearing and damages the bearing, also damages the front of the gear. Uh, then it starts to take out, as it damages the fifth gear, it starts to take out the helical gear that's, that rides next to it on the cluster shaft. And it tapers the output shaft, so you start, you, you get all this. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's gross wear. It's not supposed to do that. You don't want that. You don't <laughs> no. want that play. So I can press this apart and show you the taper on the end of your output shaft because that, that's why you had to buy this shaft, which is a $500 part mm -hmm. because it tapered it. Normally, we would just cut a groove in here and install the circlip and put it back together, but yours was gone because of this. So this then wear. the bearing doesn't stay on the end? Correct. It, it, the bearing starts to walk off the end of the shaft. It causes, a lot of times, it tears up the bearing. And sometimes, because of all that axial thrust, it tears up this bearing. But the biggest thing is that it damages this. Um, sometimes it, it damages the, the uh, shift fork, the fifth gear shift fork, which rides here, because this mm -hmm. is what engages your fifth gear. And because this whole assembly is moving this way, as this bearing is being pulled off, sometimes it'll damage the fifth gear shift fork also. Mm -hmm. So if you want to pause the video, I'll press this off and then show you the damage on the output shaft. Okay. So we've pressed the bearing off, and you can see right away that the gear, this shiny part, is not normal. That gear has been rubbing up against this bearing. You can see the damage to the bearing here. It's only a matter of time before the bearing broke. This, this is not normal. This is normally flush. You can see all the wear here, and then where the gear has been actually hitting this, the side of the bearing here. And then you can see all this damage. That's supposed to be nice and tight. Yeah, this is, you know, it's, it, it, there is a clearance there. I can't tell you exactly, but there is a clearance. But it's not supposed to look like that. Uh -huh. And all this shiny part here, this is all wear. This is all damage to the gear. Uh -huh. Because the, when, when, once the bearing gets loose and, and, and the gear starts to slide off, then it cocks like this. Uh -huh. And it starts hitting the bearing. And then... Don't know is that the noise see. that when I was rolling it in, in neutral, what noise were yeah, you Yeah, you were probably hearing the noise was probably, because the shift forks are stationary, they're not part of this assembly. So if the shift fork is sitting here, and then this bearing, this assembly starts being shifted rearward, the shift fork doesn't go with it. So in the neutral position, this is supposed to be sitting like that, so that as you, you know, th these gears are stationary, and as you spin the rear wheel, this is happening. But if this is being pushed this way, obviously what's going to happen is these gears are going to start, uh, sh these dogs are going to start rubbing up against these shift windows here. Mm -hmm. And you're going to hear that noise uh -huh. because it's not sitting in the middle anymore because the shift fork is not going to move. Is when that the shaft because the, the shaft was damaged? No, because the, sh because the shaft was thrust rearward in its case. Oh, okay. The shift fork's going to stay there. It's not going to move with it. So instead of keeping the gear stationary in neutral in between these two, as the rear wheel moves, because this is what happens when the rear wheel moves and you're in neutral. Mm -hmm. But, if, the, but if, the, if this is thrust rearward, then of course this is going to come up here and start kissing this gear and start making noise okay. as you're rolling it. So anyway, I don't know if you can see that taper, uh, if you can see that line right there. That's supposed yeah. to be a consistent dimension from here to here, but as you can see it's tapered. And that's why yours is no, you know, was, was no good and had to be replaced. Okay. So that's all, all of, because of that all shaft this is because correct. All of this is because this bearing was not held down and seated all the way with a circlip, mm -hmm. and this is the classic uh, missing circlip issue on all airheads from uh, 80, uh, 86 to 94. Very good. Very badly <laughs> worn, tapered uh, shaft. Right. Same situation as yours. Mm -hmm. Badly tapered, lots of wear, damage to the fifth gear, and then of course his bearing, because he was, you know, knocking up against the bearing, it, it just broke the bearing. Mm -hmm. I have another one in my little show and tell box here, I think. Was, yeah, here's another one. I mean, this is how many of these I see. You can see where fifth gear was rubbing up against the bearing, how it cracked it right here. Mm -hmm. You see that crack? Well, there's yeah. a yeah, see here. Oh, there you go. 
Um, so that was, you know, if you ignore the missing sir clip, this is the gamble that you're running. You're very basically going to damage your bearing, and you'll lock up your whole. You'll lock well, up. Well, your rear wheel. if this if this fails, it can lock up. Yeah. Um, also, it's costing you more money by not getting it fixed early, right. because this is what's in your future. Right. You know, what happened to yours, what happened to this, guys, I mean, you know, the landscape is littered with it, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. So, 